Dunster Village is one of the best preserved medieval villages in England. The route starts from the Dunster Steep Car Park, past the castle and along the Gallic's Bridge. You then twist your way back through the village, passing beautiful and historically interesting buildings. There's the National Park Centre next to the car park if you need further assistance before you set off. This is a really special walk as it skirts the edges of this fascinating village, detailing the history with significant architecture. And then ends up at the heart of the village, contrasting the past with the vibrancy of locals and intriguing shops. Thank you. Good day. So I've picked up my award-winning pasty. Let's get going. This walk is fairly flat. It's a lovely one to do if you're slightly less able. Dunster Pottery Kiln is the earliest kiln to survive almost complete exactly where it was built. Dunster Castle towers over this medieval village, situated on this wooded hill, and has existed here since at least the Norman times. Follow the path around the castle boundary, keeping the castle to your right. You can really envision the bridge being used back in 1222 to transport wool and other goods to market. Can you see the pheasants on top of the thatch roof? Follow the lane around the back of the castle hill. Turn right up to the church. See you later. Walk through the churchyard and turn right. Follow this road until you meet the main road and National Park Centre. Close to the walls of the Priory Church of St George lies the Dunster Dovecote. It would originally have belonged to the Benedict Priory of Dunster. You can only begin to imagine the smell here when this was in action. It was used to keep domestic pigeons, which provided squabs, the meat of a young pigeon. The high street is almost unchanged from images taken close to two centuries ago. This walk definitely benefits from a Wattleberry ice cream at the end. Please visit exmoorwalks.org for more intriguing walks.